Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Charmin. I post skincare and mostly a ton of mineral sunscreens. I demo them on my dark skin and let you know what my experience has been, whether I like them on my oily, acne prone um, skin with hyperpigmentation. So today I have been wanting to do this video for ages, but I've just been so busy. I haven't been able to get a chance to film. Um, this has been like probably one of the worst and at the same time, one of the best years of my life. Uh, no one cares about that. So I'm just going to move on to um, the sunscreens. I'm going to be talking about my favorite mineral sunscreens um, for summer 2021. There are uh, there's one more sunscreen I'm waiting to receive. I just ordered it. Dermatology just released a physical only mineral tinted sunscreen. So once I receive that, hopefully, you know, I'll love it. But for now, I'm going to be talking about my favorite um, mixed chemical and physical filter sunscreens or mineral only sunscreens for my dark skin. Um, I actually prefer mineral only sunscreens or um, if that's not possible mixed chemical with physical um, filters in it because they tend to leave a less of a white cast on my dark skin okay, I have one two three four five sunscreens actually, technically six sunscreens to talk about today these are sunscreens that I really love and wear on a daily basis and have been trying them for at least four to five months and you know experimenting them and, and seeing if I like them on my dark skin before I review them on my channel. I don't ever, um, you know, normally when I really like a sunscreen, I usually wear it a couple of a couple of months and then I review it on my channel. If I don't really like a sunscreen at all, I just won't mention it on my channel. Um, but anyway, if you have any other recommendations, leave them down below. I have a couple of other recommendations I noted down. I'll be trying those. But anyway, this is a really long intro. So the first sunscreen that I'm going to be talking about is a mixed chemical and physical filter sunscreen. It is no surprise, but it's the Dermatology Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46, the universal um, tint. This is a, like I said, it's zinc oxide 12% and octene oxate 7.5%. This uh, sunscreen is a mixed chemical and physical filters and it is beautiful. It leaves no cast on my skin. It does not make my skin oily. I have very oily skin, especially in the summer. It gets very oily. Um, I have melasma. I have a lot of acne right now at the moment. I don't know why my skin's panicking, but it is. So I have a lot of breakouts here and some recovering um, acne. So I have dark spots left over from old acne scars. So um, this does not irritate my skin. It has niacinamide um, and it is really good for sensitive skin. I've been using it since last summer. I absolutely love it. I've gone through hundreds of these. I've given away um, a couple to my mother-in-law and my mother as gifts because um, I just think it's that good and it's universal. It truly is. Um, I've seen darker skinned um, YouTubers and folks try it and I it looks beautiful on their skin too. And not just that, but it still looks good even when you're wearing the correct amount. So, um, you know, right now I'm wearing this on my skin. As you can see, it, le it leaves a nice glow on the skin. It doesn't make me look ashy or white. And I don't have that issue either when I'm reapplying it. So if, I, if you're reapplying this throughout the day, it won't leave a white cast. So this is the first sunscreen. Um, it has been a favorite for over a year. I, or not over a year, but about a year, I think. Um, it's quickly become kind of like the sunscreens I compare everything else to whenever I try on a new sunscreen. How I like it compared to this one. So I love this. Um, if you haven't tried it, please give it a try. It is definitely one of the less less expensive options because I think it's around $23 or something, but whenever there's a sale at Dermatology, um, I always stock up on these. Last summer they had like buy to get two free or something like that and it was an amazing deal and I got them for like $10 each. Anyway, so if you haven't tried it, please try it. The next sunscreen, I talked about this um, in my last video. It is a new favorite. I've, I've been wearing this for about three months and I absolutely love it. It is the Coats Prime and Protect Tinted SPF 40 Sheer Matte Sunscreen. It is mineral only. Um, it is tinted, but it is 
beautiful. It is actually marketed as a facial primer, and I agree, even though it's very expensive, for 1.5 ounces of product, you have to pay, I think, like, I paid 28 or $30, or something like that. But it is beautiful on my skin. It doesn't leave a white cast. It makes it totally matte, and it is perfect and ready for um, any makeup that I want to put on afterwards. It doesn't feel thick or heavy or cakey when I wear a full face of foundation um, and a full face of makeup. So I absolutely love this with or without makeup. It actually provides a little bit of coverage on my skin. Um, as I said, like I have some acne scars right here um, that I'm trying to get rid of. But as you know, if you have acne, it takes a while to get rid of acne scars. And it actually gives me some coverage in this area. So it doesn't look as dark, but the tint is great. And the best part about it is that it is waterproof for 80 minutes. So I actually use this before I work out. And even though I'm sweating, it doesn't really, um, you know, my sunscreen is staying intact. So I love this sunscreen. If you haven't tried it, please go ahead and try it. It is expensive, but it's worth it. I have a video uh, demo of me trying on this sunscreen and I'll leave that down below. Uh, actually, a lot of these I have demos of, so you can go ahead and, you know, check the description bar down below to see the demo on my skin. Okay, so again, I love this sunscreen. It's beautiful, new favorite. Love it probably more than my dermatology one because this is a mineral only and the dermatology is a uh, mixed chemical and physical sunscreen. But love both. Anyway, you have to try it. Next sunscreen is also a mineral only sunscreen. Um, this is the Paula's Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Um, it is a mineral only sunscreen and it says it's marketed for normal oily combination skin. This is a travel size because I, um, I didn't want to purchase a full size without seeing, you know, many companies don't have the option of purchasing this travel size, Paula's Choice does, so I ordered the travel size off of Amazon for $10 and I like it. it. I won't say it doesn't leave a white cast, it does leave a slight white cast on my skin, um, but the formula is amazing. I love Paula's Choice products. Most of their products work great for my skin, and this one's no different. Although it it does leave a white cast, it um, is totally matte on my skin. It's waterproof for about, actually it doesn't say if it's waterproof, but to me it feels waterproof. Um, and it feels so light on my skin, I don't even notice that I have anything on. It keeps it, it actually controls the oil throughout the day, so after a couple of hours, my skin doesn't get oily. It controls, um, it kind of reduces any oil I have throughout the summer. But um, I don't have a demo of this on in my channel, I think, but um, if you're a little bit lighter than me, a couple, one or two shades lighter than me, this will be perfect for you. I really recommend it. Again, it's pricey as are most of these sunscreens. Unfortunately, I have not found a sunscreen that is inexpensive, mineral um, only, or mixed chemical mineral sunscreen that works good for dark skin. Um, if you have, then great, <laughs> but anyway, so um, try this, try it if you haven't, um, if you have a couple of shades, if you have a skin tone that's a couple of shades lighter than me. It also has antioxidants and resveratrol. I like the sunscreen, pricey, but I like it. I don't use this to reapply by the way because it leaves a more prominent white cast on me. So I'll use this um, and then to reapply I'll use something else that doesn't leave a white cast. Okay, the next sunscreen, I also don't have a video on this, but let me know if you want a demo on this uh, sunscreen. This is a mineral only uh, MD Solar Science Mineral Tinted Cream SPF 30, and this is again mineral only. The tint on this is really nice. It doesn't leave a white cast on my skin. Um, I am able to reapply it without leaving a white cast. It is water resistant for 80 minutes, again, so I could work out with this and I won't sweat my sunscreen off. But again, it's pricey. It's 1.7 ounces for about 26 or $27, I think. Um, I don't go through sunscreens as fast as I would have had I only been using one sunscreen because I rotate a lot of these sunscreens and I'm always trying on new products. So um, I've been using this for a couple of months now um, and I like it. I don't love it as much as my Dermatology Tinted Mineral Sunscreen or my... Um, coats prime and protect one but i like it when i put it on it feels like a little bit greasy 
it doesn't look greasy and it's not actually greasy the formula leaves your skin very matte if you have oily skin it's really good but when i apply it i feel like it's just slipping and sliding on my skin that's the only reason i don't like it i don't know what it is about this sunscreen if the silicone in here is like if there's too much in here because i like it it does leave a you know a matte finish it's oil free but for some reason it feels greasy on the skin even though it's not um so for that reason i don't really love it but it is it has 17 percent zinc oxide and two percent titanium dioxide um yeah i love it the one sunscreen and the last kind of sunscreen i will talk about that i don't have because i finished it and the clinique super defense spf 40 sunscreen that one is also a mineral and chemical filter mixture but it is beautiful i talk about it in my video i think from last summer and i tried on um on my channel so if you want to go look at that i'll leave the link down below but i love that sunscreen um, i used to use the clinique sunscreen the chemical one in the yellow tube and i loved um how glowy it made my skin look and once I stopped using chemical sunscreens, I was really missing the way it made my skin look glowy. So I was trying to find a dupe for that, um, and I did. Clinique had another sunscreen that just came out last summer, I think, and it's the one in the orange tube. It's a mixed chemical and physical filter sunscreen. It's, it is um, a little bit thick, but it leaves my skin very, very glowy. It doesn't leave a white cast. It does leave a white cast if I reapply it, but generally on my first application, it looks really nice it looks very even it makes your skin look glowy it's really good if you have dry skin but i have oily skin and i love the glow it gives me without looking shiny so those are all the sunscreens i do want to share one product that i've been using to reapply my sunscreens lately um, because as you know a lot of these leave a white cast if you reapply it um, so the one product i've been trying is the that i've been using to reapply is the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Mineral Sunscreen SPF 40. This is a mineral only powder sunscreen. I use this to reapply whenever I'm out and about and I can't um, and I forget my you know sunscreen tube or whatever. I'll just use this to reapply. Um, the one thing I don't like about powder sunscreens is that I don't know how much I'm using and I can't tell if I have enough on. So I kind of just apply for like 10 seconds in the same area and once I notice like there's a white cast, a slight white cast on my skin, I'll stop because then I'll know, okay, maybe there's, it's probably working. But um, that's the one thing. The other thing is that I hate how expensive this product is. I like, I like the way it feels on my skin. The brush is like, it's a little scratchy and it's rough, but um, the powder, the sunscreen itself is nice. It doesn't leave too much of a white cast. Again, it really depends on how much you're using, but I just kind of apply it and it does mattify it. Sometimes I use it over makeup, but most times I don't because it makes it look too cakey. So I use this to reapply. I just use a little bit right now, as you can see. Um, yeah, it has a nice system, so you just have to like pull this down and then close the cap and then just put it back up push it back up so it's really nice i like it mineral only again but super pricey because i paid i don't even know i think it was like close to 40 dollars for this sunscreen way too expensive if you have any on the go like powder sunscreens that are like easy to apply any recommendations leave them down below i'll try them on for you guys too if you want me to but so far i've been loving this um even if it's super pricey I just, I don't know when I'll be able to tell if I'm, if I've run out of the product, but again, it's only like 3.4 grams of product or 0.12 ounces of product and it's super pricey. Anyway, so that is all of the sunscreens that I have been using and loving uh, for this summer. If you have any recommendations or if you've tried any of these sunscreen sunscreens um that i've shared in this video then please let me know down below i love when i recommend a product and you guys love it um it really makes me happy anyway so um if you have any suggestions leave them down below and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thanks i'll see you next time bye